Okay, so you want a tight turn better in hockey. Now, as you know, at Train 2.0 with the downhill skating system, a big focus is language and what do we call things. And it's not to be right or wrong about what it's called, it's just to give you specific cues that you can use to improve your mechanics. One adjustment in language with tight turns is differentiating tight turns from punch turns. Now other coaches might call them other things, but the idea is to differentiate tight turns versus punch turns. And we'll go over some quick tips for both. With a tight turn, what that looks like is I'm just having both edges glide and I'm not crossing over or crossing under. And so I'm literally just turning on my edges. Now, a way to turn even tighter is a mechanic called the punch turn. Now the punch turn is where I slide my edge and then I turn. So I slide my edge and then I cross and turn. So I'll show you the difference again. This is a tight turn. Okay, and this is a tight turn. And then this is a punch turn. Now, a tight turn might be where you are just wanting to like turn uh, and not do a crossover, right? So it would be a crossover takes a lot of room like this. But if I want to make a tight turn, I can do that just by turning like this. A punch turn is when you're maybe at more speed, but you need to actually scrub speed to slow down and turn tighter. So maybe going a bit faster, and then I need to slow myself down and turn tighter. Now what's interesting about the tight turn and the punch turn is that a lot of people don't actually coach them differently, even though they need to be coached differently. They're different mechanics and have different skills. For example, on the tight turn, the real key, this is the how to, is to let your ankles collapse and roll and maintain shin angle. So making sure your knees are over your toes. So if I'm going here, I want knees over toes and I want my ankles to collapse this way. And then same thing here. I want my ankles to collapse. Whereas on a punch turn, the key is first sliding on that outside edge, rockering from heel to toe as you cross. So that's the difference in the mechanics there. So there's different cues, different coaching for different mechanics, which are used in different situations. That's just an example of how important language is to come up with precise coaching cues so that we can reverse engineer NHL mechanics, show you exactly what to do for drills, and then it makes it easier for you to learn. And that's what we cover in the downhill skating system in Train 2.0. So follow along for more insights like this. And if you're interested in learning more, click to join the Train 2.0 membership. We'd love to see you there.